Holy Mary, the series we presented last year at Seri Seri, is a mini-series about a single father, Pops, and his five children. Pops is with his back to the wall, he has no money, they're soon gonna end up homeless until the two youngest children start being visited by the Holy Mary. They start getting these apparitions. All of a sudden their life changes, money starts coming in. Directing uh, this project was a great experience for me. First of all, um, it's a dramedy, and I'm very intrigued by the genre. Uh, secondly, um, I remember a particular line I really like from the series. It, it goes, miracles happen all the time. Some big, some small, one must only learn to see them. The miracle is not the apparitions of the Holy Mary. It's, it's this friendship. Uh, that builds between Pops, uh, the main character, who is staunchly racist, by the way, and this um, African immigrant princess, who is a very tough girl and she, she really can take Pops' bullshit. Oh, what are you calling stupid, you fucking monkey? You think I want to come to your house and clean like a slave? Fuck you, and fuck you too, father. I prefer they send me back, man, I stay clean this idiot's shit. I don't want you to clean my fucking shit. In Malta, we do have this um, problem with immigration and seeing audiences that are usually afraid of the other, you know, but being able to relate and feel and engage with this friendship, uh, it was very inspiring. You know what, princess? You're okay. For someone who's supposed to be living in the trees. <laughs> also, the fact that we were using comedy uh, felt that we could delve in a way deeper into the discussion. You can take that extra step with comedy. You're allowed to do it. I could explore the subject with more freedom and uh, I felt that gave me a lot. As a director, I love working with actors. I believe strongly in improvisation. We do work on a script. I give the script great weight. However, before we actually venture into working with script, we work at length with, with improvisation. For me, uh, the actor must be able to improvise the character before attempting to go towards the script. So we have a lot of workshops where I put the actors in situations where they have to actually improvise their way through. In that way, it's easier for the actor to find an authentic voice rather than the voice the script is giving the actor. You know, they can find their own voice, they can find their own uh, tone, their own way of being. In this case, uh, with a dramedy, I think that was vital because you need the charisma, you need the timing, you need the charm. So it was vital to work hard with the characters to be able to bring such profound themes and subjects in a light-hearted way to our audiences. Uh, we really enjoyed Seri Seri. Um, we love the fact that People engage so strongly with our main character, Pops. We actually had people walking up to us imitating Pops. Um, and I, I think our experience there was a success. We signed um, a deal with sales agents and distributors, Echo Rights, through Seri Seri. So uh, we left Seri Seri thinking that was an amazing experience and we can't wait to be in Fontainebleau again once these challenging times are over. It is not just the community or us here, but a God himself that you are trying to fool. Okay. <laughs> Tara l'angeli hanai le eh, ci vedi? Sì, guarda, ma da sai che ha detto allora? Guarda, oh, sono fatti giù normali, eh, diciamo. Guarda, che sti gente io. E se star via, ha detto tu le tue gite, eh? Wai, wai. I know what I saw. It is incredible, but I know it was real. <laughs> and believe me, I was the first one that didn't want to believe it. Huh? I was an atheist, convinced 
that all religion was bullshit. Sorry. 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 Uh, 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 u